now. A news investigation you will only see here tonight, revealing a major U.S. infant formula supplier won potentially lucrative, exclusive government contracts despite criminal convictions for fraud and illegally pushing products to vulnerable populations. Senior national investigative correspondent Mark Greenblatt reports the contracts help the company corner the market in dozens of states across the country. With America's months-long baby formula shortage dragging on, parents remain in crisis. My son is losing weight and not gaining weight like he's supposed to because I can't find this one formula. And Newsy has learned the government itself may be at least partially to blame for the shortage. A federal program called WIC allows states to award a manufacturer the exclusive right to sell baby formula to eligible families. The government says having companies compete for these contracts lowers costs by $1.6 billion, money which allows more needy families to get formula. The contracts account for roughly half of all infant formula sales in the U.S. And experts tell Newsy that they amount to intentionally formed government backed monopolies in each state's WIC program. And they help the companies that win box out the rest of their competition, meaning that the very program meant to help low-income families ends up threatening the supply chain for everyone. I think that maybe we should rethink this monopoly because look at where we are today. Dr. Fran Fleming is a researcher at the University of Connecticut's Rudd Center for Food Policy and Health, which studied 10 years of retail data. And Fleming says the winners of Wix exclusive deals end up with unfair competitive advantages that extend beyond just WIC participants. In a study that we've done, we found out that um, once that contract is put in place, the sales go up over 300 percent of your products. When a company gets a WIC contract for formula, its sales of other non-WIC products more than double, according to the study. And after losing a WIC contract, sales plunged for both infant formula and non-WIC products. Anytime you are giving exclusivity to um, a, a company or a limited number of companies, you give them access to that consumer and you get their eyes, you get their dollars, and you get the opportunity to bring them to other products that you have. The USDA tells Newsy just three companies are winning the exclusive WIC deals across every state and U.S. territory. They're the same three companies that produce 98% of infant formula sold nationally. And we've learned the owner of the Sturgis, Michigan plant at the center of the current shortage Abbott Laboratories grew to become the dominant winner of state-issued WIC contracts, even as it battled serious legal troubles. USDA records show Abbott's Ross Products Division controlled 14 WIC contracts back in 2000. By 2003, that same division agreed to a $382 million settlement with the Department of Justice after an FBI sting caught the company offering kickbacks to undercover agents and trying to defraud the government. A separate Abbott subsidiary had to pay another $200 million in criminal fines. Nearly a decade later, in 2012, Abbott paid $1.5 billion after pleading guilty to more criminal and civil violations. This time, the DOJ said Abbott illegally pushed to sell drugs for unapproved uses to elderly dementia patients, announcing in a press release, as this criminal and civil resolution demonstrates, those who put profits ahead of patients will pay a hefty price. But the company's criminal record did not stop more states from awarding Abbott exclusive control of their WIC markets. By 2015, Abbott had 24 states. According to USDA data just released to Newsy, Abbott now has exclusive control of the WIC market in more than half of the states, 34 in all, and another 14 more U.S. territories and tribal organizations. Abbott told Newsy on May 20th that it would comment as quickly as possible after we asked questions about its criminal background. We followed up, but the company has still not commented. While store shelves across America emptied this February after Abbott's recall, some states that didn't award Abbott a WIC contract, like Arkansas, said they were better off. Our supplies are good. We're fortunate to not be affected in that our Arkansas WIC contract 
is with a different manufacturer that's not affected by this formula shortage. Maintaining its advantage is important to Abbott. We found the company mentioned the WIC program in three quarters of its lobbying disclosures between 2018 and 2021. Over that period, the company spent nearly $17 million on federal lobbying on WIC and other issues. These companies have every right to go to Capitol Hill. They have a right to try to sell their product. The question is what's in the public interest? And that's where the government, the legislators, and the federal regulatory agencies are supposed to step in. Dr. Peter Lurie is the executive director of the Center for Science and the Public Interest, and also a former FDA associate commissioner who helped combat shortages in critical pharmaceuticals. I think the Federal Trade Commission ought to take a look and see what's been going on in this market, because clearly, although for much of the time, these companies have managed to supply American kids with the formula they need. It's clearly been at risk for a good long time, and now we've finally seen the consequences. Lurie is also calling for the FDA to establish a standing committee that identifies suppliers of all critical medical foods and requires them to notify the FDA about expected shortages. We should be going to companies who are making these kinds of vulnerable products, asking them if they have a backup plan, having them share that with the agency. This means Take, you know, going in with the inspectors, deciding how to fix the problem. And it also means beginning to look to alternative suppliers and seeing if they can ramp up their supply chain as well to compensate. Newsy has learned the FDA is seeking new authority that would require firms to notify the agency if they anticipate significant interruptions to essential foods in the future. In response to the current shortage, WIC programs are temporarily waiving those exclusive deals, allowing consumers to purchase other formula brands. And the federal government has begun allowing imports of infant formulas from foreign countries to stock the shelves. But that has not removed the threat of future shortages. Mark is with us here in the studio tonight. Mark, I remember when our boys, twins, showed up in 2019, and I... Thought, how are we going to pay for this for how long a year prices go up and up and up you look at the charts you have basically a monopoly then you have a built-in client the government is anything being done about prices well look chance when it comes to prices the experts that we're talking to are simply saying this number one don't hand out these monopolies because that's not helping anybody and perhaps number two if you are going to hand the monopoly out don't give it to the company that's been caught by the FBI trying to teach people how to defraud the government mm hmm okay in the meantime, up, 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 up. Mark Greenblatt, thank you. You bet.